her jaw looks still swollen. I know. This morning, Jason and his family are worried about their Eskimo dog, Lady. She has a broken jaw. She was digging in the yard, and I said, hey, stop that. She got up and she gallops away as she normally does, and she turned real quick and ran into one of the other dogs. She let out this blood-curdling yelp. Blood was pouring out of her mouth. I didn't know what was going on with her. And her age, she's nine. It's like, oh my God, <laughs> what am I gonna do, you know? So in we go into the emergency room. They do not do any kind of jaw surgeries there. So I call here and they said, we can get you in today. Hello. Hi. I'm Dr. Jeff. Uh, what's going on with the... She's got a broken jaw. Did she get bit? No. She was smacked into one of the other dogs pretty hard. They were really? playing. And where's it supposed to be broken at? It's on the right hand here, side. Yeah. Yes. I got the x-rays. Yeah. I just want to pull them up real quick, take a look. Unfortunately, no bone right there at all. Mm -hmm. And that's the other side. How old is she? She's nine. And she hit another dog? Yes. She didn't, she didn't break that easy. Her bone looks really thin. I don't know why it would. It's a little unusual for a dog to kind of clip heads and then to break a jaw. I mean, their jaws are pretty darn tough, so she is an older dog, so I'm kind of wondering what her teeth look like. We'll definitely find out more when we do a dental exam and do a physical on her. You look at the six, eight hundred dollars total for everything. Okay. We'll give you a call after surgery. No problem. I appreciate problem. it. Thank you so much. We're getting you fixed. We're getting you fixed, puppy. Love you. I didn't sleep all night. I couldn't really afford a huge surgery, and I'm looking things up, and it's, you know, I'm up to three thousand dollars in my head, going, I don't know what I'm gonna do. All right. Oh, you are super soft. All right. We'll be giving you a call. Okay. Thank okay. you so much. I feel a lot better coming here. The doctor was very reassuring and really made me feel more comfortable. All right, come on, lady, let's go. Dr. Jeff is prepping to repair lady's broken jaw. The bone underneath is really degenerating badly, so it could just be a chronic infection. If you have chronic infection in the bone, it just eats into the bone, and they're nightmares to get back together simply because half the bone's gone, you know, and doesn't want to heal. So the canine is out here, OK? It's basically cracked through here like this, but then it's also really long, oblique. So my goal is to go in and put a couple wires, either two or three wires around this, and we'll see how that stabilizes it. These teeth are just rotten. Okay, and that tooth there is going to have to come out. Better to have no teeth than rotten teeth. OK, so I got that out. Several of these teeth just want to fall out. Oh, yeah, just pushed it out. Something weird about this. I don't know. See, it's really swollen on this side. Uh, and it's all pussy on this side. But it's not broken on this side. Definitely infected. Yeah, it's horrible infected. The lady's jaw broke because it was weakened by chronic infection. And that's why we say you really need to stay up on dentals on animals because bad teeth leads to bad bones and that leads to fractures. The bone will actually just dissolve around the root and everything, so you get really thin bone there. And I think it's going to be a real problem getting it to heal because the bone density was really thin. Petra. She can get her fingers in there where I can't. I mean, if I get my fingers in there, I can, it's like I'm taking up the whole space. I can definitely get one, two. I think we can get three wires on that. There. You got it. OK, there's one. That's way down. OK. Got it. That's three. I'm concerned about cranking the wires down too tight and having that bone just split on me. Now let's walk in. Tighten this one down. Okay. Yep, yep. OK, hold yep. hold hold. Yep. I just don't want to crack it in half. If we crack it the other way, we're screwed. The lady's jaw is really thin and brittle. But how far can I go? Put too much pressure on it, we're going to break it more. 
But if we don't get it tight enough, it's not going to heal. Like this way. Yeah, go ahead. I feel like it's going to pull. That's good. Stop, then stop, stop, stop. The alignment is real good. Yeah, no, it's perfect. I think this will heal. We're going to keep it on some, you know, some fairly long-term antibiotics because we need that bone to be not infected. What? What? Mm. We're done with lady surgery. We got three wires in there. The bone is really thin there. So she's definitely gonna be on soft food for a while. We got rid of the rotten teeth and then we're gonna x-ray her down the line and hopefully she builds that bone back up. Come on, sweetheart. Hi, honey. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi, Dr. Jeff. Hi, pumpkin. Hi, baby. Pull a couple premolars out on both sides. Okay. Um, we put three wires on there, and it's really stable. The mouth was just really pussy. I can't stress enough, dental care really is important. I didn't realize what an issue or impact that could have. Mm -hmm. yeah. Will so. she be able to eat? Well, she'll eat eventually. I mean, she's gonna be sore right now. You wanna make a gruel up for her, you know? So mix a gruel. There's a lot of trauma inside the mouth, but you know, literally three to five days, that's like almost totally gone. It's amazing. Thank you so much. No I problem. mean, this is no something problem. that I you yeah. made no. possible. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. To me, dogs are the most loyal things in the world. I could be having the worst day of them. I can come home and she's just happy to see me and excited. And I can't wait for her to go running around the house like she usually is, the crazy lady that she is. She means the world to us.